We have a special summer health warning now for parents. A tiny killer bug that breeds in freshwater ponds and lakes is being blamed for the deaths of two children who came into contact with the bug while they were swimming. ABC News Chief Health and Medical Editor Dr. Richard Besser is here with the details, and this is a deadly parasite. It really is, George. You know, every common risk factor was there. Summer months, southern states, and a heat wave. That's what it can take to turn an incredibly common creature into a freakishly uncommon killer. These are Neglaria amoebas, and they live in just about every warm, murky body of fresh water, every summer swimming hole, lake, and pond. We're surrounded by them, and most of the time, you'd never know it. But nine-year-old Christian Alexander Strickland of Virginia and 16-year-old Courtney Nash of Florida each developed amoebic brain infections after summertime swims. Before they could even be diagnosed, they were dead. There have only been a handful, maybe less than a handful of cases that have been diagnosed early, appropriately treated, and have survived. These parasites enter the body through the nose. They then make their way to the brain, where they destroy brain tissue and cause meningitis. Headache, fever, and nausea develop in the first week. As the condition worsens, so do the symptoms. Confusion, loss of balance, even hallucinations. Doctors rarely suspect it, and even early treatment is no guarantee of a cure. It's that serious, and that quick. The patient is gone in less than two weeks. Fortunately, this is a very, very rare occurrence. You know, that's so important to remember. This is incredibly rare. Even with millions of people swimming in fresh water each summer, there are only three or four cases a year in the entire country. You know, so amoebic brain infections are the medical equivalent of being struck by lightning. But still, George, it's so sobering for a parent. Yeah, of course it is. So is there anything you can do to, to lessen the risk? Well, I mean, if you don't swim, you, you have no risk, but I don't think you need to go there. The one thing you could do is use nose clips because this, this organism, unlike just about any other, it enters through your nose. So if you're swimming in a freshwater pond, you could put on a nose clip. Okay, Rich Besser, thanks very much.